as part of our bold plan includes doubling down on efforts to reduce regulatory burdens and barriers for businesses through the reduction of red tape. And many businesses are facing unique economic challenges that have also affected many hardworking Albertans. With so many Albertans out of work and so many businesses uncertain about their future, we need to ensure our labour laws are balanced and support businesses through economic recovery so that they can keep their doors open and Albertans can retain their jobs. Now, Bill 32 will provide employees and job creators with clearer and more transparent rules promoting fairness and productivity. For example, it includes changes that will provide more clarity about rest periods and vacation time while on job protective leave. We are balancing employee rights with the need to protect businesses and the economy while ensuring Albertans can access critical services they have come to rely on. Now, during our consultations, we heard loud and clear from job creators that simpler and more flexible rules were needed for several sections in the Employment Standards Code. This includes general holiday pay, group termination, payment of final earnings upon termination, payroll processes, and paying administrative penalties. We are listening to Albertans and taking swift actions to help employers save time and money in their daily operations. Through Bill 32, we are standing up for individual workers' rights. We are following through with our campaign promise to protect workers and restore democracy and balance by allowing workers the ability to choose if they want to support a political campaign with their union dues. We will not stand for unions such as Unifor campaigning against the interests of Albertans and our core sectors using money of hardworking people who they represent in those very sectors without their explicit approval. Albertans will still have the choice, of course, but we are treating employees like adults and giving them the power to decide. We are also amending the Labour Relations Code to require unions to provide members with financial statements. This change strengthens employees' rights and aligns Alberta with other provinces. It increases transparency and democracy in the workplace by making sure employees know un how unions are spending their money. Bill 32 will also make changes to strikes, lockouts and picketing. Now, Our government supports workers' right to strike and picket, but we must balance the rights with the right of job creators while remaining focused on economic recovery. Now, Under Bill 32, employees will need permission first to picket somewhere other than their workplace. Other proposed changes will enable the Labour Relations Board to serve employers, employees and unions more efficiently by reducing administrative burdens, cost and unnecessary hearings. And proposed changes to collective agreement and union certification and revocation processes will further restore balance and economic stability for the province. Now our government is doing everything we can to get Albertans back to work. We are doing this by supporting investment, job creation and co competition in the construction sector while ensuring stability. Bill 32 will encourage competitiveness and reduce red tape with more flexible rules for industrial construction and maintenance unions to organize their members. It will also make changes to rules about major projects and add clarity and certainty encourage further investment and increase the number of major construction projects in the province and allow collective agreements to stay in place for the remainder of the contract's term even after employees have chosen a new union. Our government pr promised a bold and comprehensive plan to chart a path forward for the Alberta economy and Bill 32 is an important step to bring balance back to the workplace and get Albertans back to work.